Hey guys, what's up? Chemistry here. This is part 5 of my FL Studio tutorial series. Today I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different, and that is the Breezen Style Melody Pattern. And what it is, it's basically um, a melody, very organized, and um, only using 8 notes, and following a 1-3-2-4 pattern. So it's kind of like... Um, in a poem where you'd have the first line rhyme with the third line and the second line rhyme with the fourth line like uh, milk, cow, silk, how so it kind of follows that in the but just in a melody form anyway so I'm going to show you um, what it sounds like here I have It's a Dream by DJ Dean and a lot of you might have heard it already if not maybe you've heard um, Attack Again by the Noise Controllers um, or It's a Dream by DJ Panda. Isn't it called It's a Dream? I don't know. Old tune, so I thought I'd go with DJ Dean's version. And, yeah, so I'll just play the climax or the release melody, and, um, you guys can see how it sounds. It's a dream. So, um, that's that, and that's what you're going to be learning today. I'm going to be using Binary Voice on Nexus 2 and the Trance Bass 14, just because it kind of sounds like the actual song. Let's give you more of that feel that we're really learning it. Okay, so, we're going to be using um, an offbeat bass line first on the Binary Voice, so it'll be in between C4 and C5. And then we're going to modify the offbeat bass line to give it that freezing style bass line. And then we're going to be filling out all the holes with the lead or the uh, midsection uh, melody line. So here we're going to make the bass line um, offbeat, of course, starting up on F sharp. Then we're going to copy and paste that. And we put it down to E, paste that again, and then D, and then copy paste it, bring it up all the way up to A, split it in half, and down to A flat. So it'll sound like this. <laughs> Okay, so that's just some offbeat bass line um, that I'm sure you all heard before. Now, what you have to do to change um, the bass line to make it more of a breeze and style pattern, what you do is you look right here and you don't move the first two notes. These two notes, you leave it, and then you take these two notes and you move to the side twice. So you take the half part of the bass line and then you move it to the side twice. So you just take the half and move it to the side, or to the left, twice. So now it sounds like this. Okay, but we're still not done. Um, remember this is a one, three, two, four pattern. So this is supposed to kind of rhyme like with this or be similar and this is supposed to be similar with this but they're not supposed to all be the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the second note of the second and fourth measure and that is this one right here and you just want to erase it. You want to get rid of that one and the next one is right here you want to get rid of that one so it'll sound like this. <laughs> Now, if you kind of got lost when I was trying to explain that, just try to recreate it by ear. Um, it's not very hard to figure out. Okay, so now that we have the low section doing what they're supposed to be doing, now we have to have the lead melody. Um, 
Your mission here is to place notes where the low end isn't actually playing. So it's just filling out all the holes. Something you could do is just place the note a semitone or two above where the bass line is, so just like right here. Um, you can tell that they're not actually going to collide if I move them across each other. And then just take them up, put them up on a note that sounds good, like A for example. And you know that they're never going to hit at the same time, but they still kind of um, work good together. So, what you're going to do next is just copy paste that um, over and over again, right next to each other. So if you notice on 2 and 4, what happened is there was a little empty spot right here, right around here. and you don't want that empty spot. So what you have to do is just add a note on the lead melody because you're not going to change the bass line. So just add a note there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the melody down a little bit just so it's easy to tell when or, or when where we are. <laughs> So I hope you kind of understand what I meant by the two, uh, or the one and the three, and the two and the four pattern, because um, it is actually following that right now. Now you could just end it right here and just say, say I like this, and I will keep it that way. But what we're gonna do is, um, we're not gonna move the melody at all from left to right. Um, we're gonna leave it exactly where it is, but we can move it from up and down as much as we want we can move it from up and down because we're not actually changing the position but we're changing the note so we're gonna leave these two where it is on A so we're gonna leave one and three just being exactly the same Let leave it on A but then we're gonna move two and four a lot so it kinda of sounds like a melody so let's say they're all on A right now so one and three stays the same two and four changes so we're going to move um, these two notes here, we're going to move it up to C sharp, and then we're going to take these last three notes and we'll move it down to A flat. And then we're not going to move three because we want three to be a lot like one. And now we want to do something similar to 2 because we're on 4, because it has to kind of rhyme or be similar. So we move that all the way up to E, and then take the last three notes and move those up to B. So it's just taking the two first notes and moving it up, and then taking the three last notes and moving it up, or possibly down, whatever you like. Now that sounds a lot more like the noise controller's uh, version of this melody, which is um, how I learned it, and uh, I hope it's okay with you guys, but it does sound a lot like it's a dream. Um, now what you can do for the bass line with the actual bass um, is it's usually a good idea to not keep that reason style pattern when you're making your bass line. Just leave it off beat because if you're keeping it on the on that reason style pattern, it will kind of sound weird when the kick is hitting because the bass is supposed to kind of accompany the kick like that, and it'll also kind of sound um, messy because sometimes the kick and the bass will hit at the same time, like for example right here it would hit at the same time. Um, so just leave it on the offbeat and then just turn down the bass quite a bit because you want to be able to hear um, every part of that recent style melody that the binary voice is playing. So I got this kick, bass, and then the binary voice. <laughs> So there you go, 
um, that is a reason style melody for you. Um, a good idea would be changing the instruments, even adding a saw behind the voice so it sounds more like this. it's a dream. And um, obviously changing the bass line because I really don't like that one. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. You can also, um, you don't even have to keep it that way. Honestly, you could change it to whatever you like. Um, as long as you just move it from up and down, it could just be... So yeah, um, that was just improvisation, um, but it's so easy, that's how easy it is. You just put all the notes in their rightful position, and then just move them up and down until you get a good melody. Um, it's great for beginners, and it's great to actually make a nice song and not make a very messy uh, melody. And if you look closely, most melodies actually do follow that kind of one, three, two, four pattern where one is a lot like a measure three, measure two is a lot like measure four. So um, I definitely recommend you look into those kind of melodies and they're great to learn with and to mess around with because you actually can change a lot with this uh, kind of um, recent style melody. I could move the bass line around and move the melody around. I don't have to keep that kind of pattern. I can manipulate it into my own thing. So I definitely recommend you take that and mess around with it. And I hope you learned something from this. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.